Republic of Croatia Armed Forces. The Republic of Croatia Armed Forces, OSRH, is the military service of Croatia. The President is the Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief, and exercises administrative powers in times of war by giving orders to the Chief of Staff, while administration and defense policy execution in peacetime is carried out by the government through the Ministry of Defense. This unified institution consists of land, sea, and air branches referred to as the Croatian Armed Forces are charged with protecting the Republic as well as supporting international peacekeeping efforts, when mandated by the NATO, United Nations and or European Union. The Army has 650 AFVs, around 150 pieces of artillery, 100 MLRSs, around 70 tanks, and 20 SBGs. The Air Force has 12 MiG-21 jet fighters, 10 combat transport Mi-171 and 16 OH-58 attack helicopters. The Navy has 29 ships, out of which 5 60 to 80 meter fast attack craft are used in offensive capabilities. The total number of active military personnel in the Croatian Armed Forces stands at 14,506 and 6,000 reserves working in various service branches of the Armed Forces. In May 2016, Armed Forces had 16,019 members, of which 14,506 were active military personnel and 1,513 civil servants. Of the 14,506 active military personnel, 3,183 were officers, 5,389 non commissioned officers, 5,393 soldiers, 520 military specialists, 337 civil servants, and 1, 176 other employees. Total available male manpower aged 16 to 49 numbers 1,035,712, of which 771,323 are technically fit for military service. Male citizens are now no longer subject to compulsory military service since January 1, 2008. However, the last generation of 2007 servicemen was also absolved off compulsory service by an act from then Minister of Defense Berislav Ronsvik. The Croatian military budget for the past six to seven years was kept below 2% of GDP, a vast difference from the 1990s when defense expenditure represented a major stick in Croatian budgetary expenditure due to the Croatian War of Independence. For example, 1995 Croatian defense budget stood at 12.4 billion Croatian kuna or just over 12% of GDP, which was also the highest defense expenditure rate ever. Defense expenditures in recent years, source Croatian mod. Although the budget has been decreased from year to year, the Croatian armed forces were able to maintain military readiness and to participate in major NATO exercises in Croatia and overseas. This downsizing of the armed forces has allowed for more funds to be allocated to modernization over the past few years with an average of 1.6 billion kuna spent on modernization, infrastructure and construction of new facilities. A $3 billion modernization plan was proposed by the then Prime Minister Ivica Reikin of the SDP-led government in 2003, with planned modernization starting in 2006 and ending in 2015. However it has been delayed in part due to the subsequent economic recession, but also due to serious corruption that has cost the Croatian mod several billion kuna since 2006. A new plan under former Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic should define exactly how and what the Croatian Armed Forces should look like by 2023. A defense white paper was published in 2015 with emphasis placed on modernization of the army. The Dr. Franjo Tudman Military Academy acts as a school of higher learning responsible for training and educating future generations of military personnel. The academy consists of several schools including Ben Josip Jelicic, Blago Zedro, Katarina Zrinska, the Officers' Academy, and a school for non-commissioned officers. The academy has 300 full-time staff and is the only military academy in Croatia. Each year also 100 to 124 nationals attend the academy. The Commander-in-Chief of all Croatian Armed Forces in Peace and War is the President of the Republic. The Commander-in-Chief prescribes the organization of the Croatian Armed Forces at the proposal of the Chief of General Staff, with consent of the Minister of Defense. The armed forces consist of peacetime and wartime components. The peacetime component is composed of the active military officers, civil servants and employees in the Croatian armed forces, cadets, and conscripts serving a six-month national service and reservists when on military exercise. The wartime component of the armed forces includes all other reservists. 
units. The General Staff is part of the Ministry of Defense in charge of commanding, training and use of the armed forces. It also has a number of units under its direct command, including the Special Operations Battalion, Honor Guard Battalion and several others. In peace, the Commander-in-Chief exercises his command through the Minister of Defense. In war and in cases where the Minister of Defense is not fulfilling his orders, the Commander-in-Chief exercises his command directly through the General Staff Commander. The Croatian Parliament exercises democratic control over the armed forces by adopting defense strategy, defense budget, and defense laws. The Special Forces Command was established in February 2015, succeeding the Special Operations Battalion, Croatia. In accordance with the long-term development plan of the Croatian Armed Forces in the period 2015 to 2024, the command staff is composed of the members who served in the special units, guards brigades and reconnaissance units of the Croatian Armed Forces. The main mission of the Special Forces Command is to ensure combat readiness of special forces and the protection of the territorial integrity, sovereignty and independence of the Republic of Croatia, as well as for the participation in NATO operations. Colonel Perikatur Elijah is the current commanding officer of the command. The Croatian General Staff exercises direct command over the battalion which thus elevates the unit to strategic level deployment for quicker reaction and overall better and faster response to tactical and strategic situations. Also, this means that members of all three branches of the Croatian Armed Forces can apply for selection. Other special operations units are the Military Intelligence Battalion. Bojno Obav Jestina Bojna or Vob, and Special Military Police Company, Satnia Spishjalni Bojn Police Ija or SSVP. The duties of an honor guard are performed by the Pakistno Zastatna Bojna, 300 men, located at Zagreb in the Tuscanac military base. A long term modernization plan for 2015 2024 has been published outlining overall goals and is available for download, 102 pages at the Ministry of Defense of Croatia website. According to earlier reports from the government, the Croatian armed forces are set to receive vitally needed new equipment. Navy plans are still being worked on but present plans call for a moderate expansion of the naval force. As a small country, Croatia has a relatively well-developed arms industry that is highly competitive internationally with significant annual arms exports. In 2012, Croatia managed to export nearly 120 million euros. However it has been reported in the New York Times that Croatia has been arming Syrian rebels with Croatian-manufactured arms used during the Homeland War, arms Croatia no longer uses due to their obsolescence. Nevertheless, these arms played a crucial role in some significant rebel gains during 2012. As a result of these arms sales into this volatile region the Croatian government ordered the immediate withdrawal of the Croatian UN Golan Heights contingent to avoid their being targeted in retaliation. In 2013 Croatia exported 143 million euros worth of arms, however it is not clear if this also includes $36.5 million worth of arms Croatia exported to Jordan for Syrian rebels. Croatia was the top supplier of arms to Syrian rebels in 2013, but much of it through illicit channels without Croatian government approval or knowledge. Most of these arms were exported via Jordan. In 2014 Croatian arms exports reached 1.5 BNHRK, Croatian kuna, or 200 million euros or 257 million dollars, the majority of exports being to NATO allies and Australia. In late 2014 the Croatian defense minister announced a major export deal to Iraq including the state of Kurdistan. This agreement includes the sale of 20,000 VHS rifles, 150,000 complete sets of uniforms, helmets and associated equipment valued at 100 euros million. Croatian arms exports are growing steadily at 10 to 15 percent yeah, and were expected to reach 1.75 billion HRK in 2015 or around 230 million euros, although much of the equipment exported is non-lethal. Croatian firms are well positioned on some major arms tenders in the Middle East. Supplying complex military hardware such as the Patria AMV incorporating a newly developed 30mm overhead weapon station, valued at 1.25 million euros each, and said vehicles valued at 1.75 million euros. Kuwait, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia have been mentioned as potential customers, although no concrete contracts have been signed so far. Croatian firms are participating in Kuwaiti and UAE tenders for next generation APC programs each valued at billions of euros. Croatian arms exports have grown steadily for the better part of this decade and have reached 325 million euros per year, 
placing Croatia in the top 10 arms exporters within NATO, behind the US, Germany, UK, France, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, Poland, and Norway. The vast majority of these exports are to NATO partners such as the US, Norway, Australia, Canada, France. Croatia granted 5.75 billion euros in export licenses in 2016 and 2017, however, only a fraction of this sum has materialized in actual arms exports. On April 1, 2009 Croatia joined NATO and on July 1, 2013 it became the 28th member of the European Union. The Croatian armed forces participate in many of the military aspects of both organizations as well as actively participating in many United Nations peacekeeping operations worldwide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.